What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Redline Racing Garage. So first and foremost, I did want to welcome all the new subscribers that have subscribed to this channel from the boosted 8th gen group off of Facebook. I want to give you guys a big welcome and this is a perfect time for you guys to kind of tune in because right now I am collecting all the parts necessary for the 8th gen so we can get this thing back up and running for the next racing season. If you guys don't know exactly uh, what's up with the 8th gen right now, I suggest you guys kind of go back to all the previous videos and get caught up all the way up to this point so that you guys can be fully up to date and know exactly what's going on and why we're doing this. So let's start off today's video with something really special. Uh, I'm super excited to make this video. And like I said, we are starting to get all the parts in for the eighth gen. Like I told you guys, I'm not wasting any time. I am super motivated right now to put this thing back together and get this thing finally back on the road. It's been a long time coming. The eighth gen has been sitting for a very long time and I feel really, really motivated to get this thing back up and running. So to start things off, I did pick up a new standalone ECU for the 8th gen. So I was kind of debating, um, me and Rui actually were talking and uh, he suggested uh, for me to get a AM Infinity because it's been around for a very long time and there are a lot of tuners that tune for that ECU and that's what he suggested, but uh, with me, I'm not the kind of uh, guy to kind of jump on the bandwagon and just uh, go with uh, with everybody else and kind of be the follower. I like to kind of be uh, the leader and create my own lane. So I did decide to go with something uh, different, something new, something that's that hasn't been around for a long time, but it has uh, great reviews and I've seen a couple uh, guys already put it on uh, their cars and it's been running and working amazing. So I did kind of take that leap and uh, we'll see how it goes, we'll see. So what I did end up picking up I decided to go with the uh, fuel tech ECU. So this is the FT550, which offers all the features, everything needed. A lot of people do go with the uh, 550. So I did my research and I kind of uh, went on YouTube and uh, did all the research necessary. And I did come to a conclusion that fuel tech, they are so advanced and so beyond their time that uh, right now they are a uh, hot topic. So I did decide to go with the uh, fuel tech. So here it is. I did kind of go and open up the box already. So this is what it comes with. So first of all, you do get a little booklet here that kind of explains the features and all that kind of stuff. The uh, other things that they sell and they do sell a lot of things. They have boost controllers and strain gauges and uh, wide bands and whew, you name it. Like they have everything so that's kind of a uh, booklet on what they offer um, a lot of stickers which i love i'm gonna put some stickers on my box maybe gonna put some stickers on the eighth gen as well um, it does come with a little uh 
sticker here with the hotkeys this is made for the uh, tuner so kind of shortcuts because um fuel tech hasn't really been around for so long and not a lot of tuners tune with fuel tech so they kind of you know made it a little bit easier and just put some uh, hotkeys make it a little easier for the tuner so that's that got the stickers and then here you have a the whole owner's manual so this thing literally goes from the beginning all the way to the end it explains everything about the uh, manager you got to install and how to tune it and what to use how to well basically everything there's a lot to cover i'm thinking there is about maybe 120 pages it even shows you all the wiring and all the connectors and connections and all that stuff so very very nice owner's manual here all right so here it is super nice packaging it's a tiny little screen but with all the technology so this thing here it is a display with the ecu already in one so this is a very very nice screen here uh, actually perfect size because as you guys know the eighth gen exactly where the uh, rpm section is there's a very very small space so hopefully this thing will fit right in there i'm thinking that it's probably the perfect size for that to fit in there we'll just have to see later on but this thing looks beautiful it's amazing i can't wait to install this thing and kind of start it and see how it looks but pretty much this is how it is and you can also customize your screen but we are very very far from that far from installing anything right now right now we are in the collecting all the parts phase um so like i said it's kind of somewhere down the line but very very nice piece very nice and it also does come with a little package in this red box here it has a nice little emblem with a 3m in the back we can stick to uh the eighth gen or whatever you're running so i'm gonna be putting this on the eighth gen somewhere i'm gonna find a really nice spot uh keychain what else is in here they also give you a flash drive so you can store all your tunes on there really nice and then you have your um screws for your mounting bracket so in here you do have the uh, mounting bracket so you mount it your screws holds the entire uh, screen with the ECU in there really nice I really like the uh, emblem it's uh, nice and beefy it looks really nice I'm gonna be putting that on the kitchen later on once we install everything and then also what I did grab is you have a um, a harness and a b harness so these harnesses are uh, just universal so you do have this big connector here that plugs into your uh, a port and then same thing on the other one it plugs into your uh, b port so these two actually go and then you start to wire uh, all the uh, wires to your engine and whatnot all that stuff so i'm still not exactly sure if I'm gonna be using uh, this harness, I did grab it anyways, just to be sure, but uh, I might actually be uh, contacting a uh, fuel tech and see if maybe they can make me a custom one for the uh, eighth gen, because we still have a lot of time, a uh, couple of months actually, before we actually, you know, start putting all this stuff in. So I did grab it, like I said, anyways, but we have time. So I will be contacting fuel tech and see if they can make me a custom harness for the eighth gen. And then we can just return these, but I did grab them anyways. So like I said, I did tons of research before um, I did go and uh, purchase the fuel tech. And for the price, you can't really go wrong. Like uh, there are other ECUs that are maybe, I don't know, three times more expensive than the fuel tech. And they don't even offer as much technology as the uh, fuel tech does. So just maybe a couple things that um, I did notice and um, they were talking about that um, the fuel tech actually uh, it can check the compression of your motor 
Like that's something crazy. Like I didn't even know that that was even possible. I'm not even exactly sure that any other ECU can do that. Like Haltech, I'm not sure if they if they can do that. Moltec, like I'm not sure, but I did find out that it does that. And that's just one of the features that it has. And that's why I did say in the beginning that uh, fuel tech they are like so ahead of their time that they have so much technology packed in this little unit like it's crazy and i'm still actually going to do a lot more research over the span before i actually go and uh, install it and then when i do install it i'll probably learn even more once i actually can experience it for myself and kind of go through it and everything another cool feature that it does have is that you don't even need to plug in your laptop because on the screen you can actually like the tuner tuning it can actually tune on the screen you can actually pull up any table on the screen your your fuel table your your cam table like anything that you need to tune the car you can tune with just this itself you don't even need a laptop but obviously tuners I don't think they can uh, kind of go and do that. They're probably more comfortable plugging in their laptop and just working from there. But I'm just saying that is an option with this thing. So just like I said, a little bit of research that I did and it's just crazy what this little machine can do. So another thing I will be needing before we go and install everything is a switch panel. So FuelTech does offer uh, four choices of switch panels. So I kind of have to figure out which one uh, I'm going to go with. Not sure yet, but uh, I'm leaning more toward the bigger one. We're going to have to find some space exactly where to mount it. Another thing is that uh, you can go and customize exactly uh, which options, which buttons you want to get. So I still have to kind of go through exactly what I need. So they do offer like a burnout button, two-step button. They also have a traction controller, push to start. So a lot of options you can choose from so we're gonna find out exactly what we need and then we'll go from there i am super excited to finally start uh bringing in all the parts needed to get the eighth gen back up and running and this is a perfect way to start it and this is also my first standalone ecu so i'm super excited to see exactly how this thing is gonna work how the motor is gonna run and all that kind of stuff with this thing now we are officially one step closer into finally starting up the 8th gen like i said it's been a long time coming throughout this whole year the 8th gen hasn't run properly and i think uh, this is something that it needs up to this point because i am so deep in the build now i think this thing is gonna turn the 8th gen into a beast and it's gonna run properly and exactly the way it should up to its full potential with this fuel tech. So aside from the fuel tech, there's still gonna be a lot of mods happening to the eighth gen right here. And the next thing that I do have to get is a uh, PPG gear set for the transmission here because I've already went through about three transmissions. So this is my third one and I don't want to put a another stock transmission in here and knowing that it's going to fail again. So I do have to put something uh, stronger, something more beefier in here. And the only thing that I'm leaning more toward right now is putting in a PPG gear set and then having a fully built transmission. Um, the LSD on this thing is a stock 8th gen LSD, so I might be upgrading to a Quaif LSD, and that's pretty much what I have uh, going for the transmission right now. Um, aside from that, uh, we are probably going to be um, running a little bit more power, and to do that, I do have to upgrade the turbo right here. So on this turbo, I did max it out on the dyno this year and it did make about 541 horsepower and 471 foot-pounds of torque at literally like 20 pounds. So we maxed out the turbo and we cannot go any further. So to get more power, I'm going to have to upgrade the turbo. Another thing, if I do want to go over 600, which I do, I'm probably going to have to be replacing the uh, intake manifold as well. So I'm probably going to be running a Skunk 2 uh, center feed manifold. And then we're going to be changing all of that out. Another thing that uh, I'm probably going to change out while I'm at it is all of the uh, intercooler piping. So this is still the uh, stock intercooler piping from the PRL kit. 
So this is a two and a half inch. I still have the PRL kit uh, intercooler as well. So I think I'm gonna have to change that out to run more power. Now the piping and the intercooler, yes, I can probably do maybe 600, six something on it and max it out. But I'm thinking while I'm at it and I started early on in the uh, building season, which is right now, I want to get to as much mods as I can to get this thing at least 700 horsepower because that was my goal with this car this year. I did want to get, um, well, I did want to put about 700 horse on this thing and run it that way. But with the little tiny turbo we have here, we maxed it out at 20 pounds and then that's the power we made. So while I'm at it, I'm thinking, yes, I should probably change out the manifold and the piping and the intercooler. Uh, the transmission and the fuel tech was a must to actually even start this car and just drive it down the road because this trans like uh, crap the bed like that's it for the transmission and that's my third one already that's why I'm uh, doing a fully built one and I think that's about it um, I will be running the uh, same fuel which is a E98 uh, we have uh, a big fuel pump we already have uh, like big injectors on this thing and uh, we also have a return line and all that stuff so we should be good on that so that's pretty much what's going to be happening that's the plan for the 8th gen we got the fuel tech in now and now i'm going to get a ppg gear set bigger turbo and slowly start checking off the list and hopefully start uh, working on this thing early spring so we can finally get this thing back on the track all right guys so that'll pretty much do it for today's video i'm super excited to finally start getting all the parts in necessary for the eighth gen to roar again i cannot wait to get this thing uh started up again it's been a hot minute guys it's been a long time since i actually started this car up and took it for a drive this was pretty much in like uh in in the middle of uh the summertime where i actually drove this thing i took it to the track once it's just uh it was a disaster with this car uh this year but now we are back on track gonna collect everything that we need slap it all in and finally get this thing back on the road back on the track and let this thing eat because it's been a long time coming very long time so yeah, that'll pretty much do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and please be sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.